Hello everybody, my name is John Parkinson and I would like to welcome you to the WordPress Community Interview Series. Uh, with me today is Ken Kramer. Uh, Ken, thank you so much for agreeing to uh, uh, do the interview today. I certainly do appreciate that. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, my name is Ken Kramer. I am in McCungie, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Allentown, which most people know from the lovely Billy Joel song. <laughs> um, I have been working in IT for 20 plus years and been working with WordPress for about three plus now. Great, great. Uh, and I understand that the WordCamp Lehigh Valley just took place. Um, can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that event? Um, we had our inaugural WordCamp this past Saturday, July 16th, um, and we were very concerned on how it would go just because our meetup group that we have is small, 20, 30 people, um, but we felt there was a lot of stuff in the community and being close to Philadelphia, we're an hour north of Philadelphia, um, we thought we could pull one off, get some people from there as well, and it, it worked. Fantastic. So. You were uh, a co-lead for uh, a first uh, first time lead uh, co-lead for a first time WordCamp. Correct. Um, I had two other people with me, Kim White and Tim Conroy, who are two people that help with our meetup group, and uh, we kind of worked together to get everything done. Um, we joked around with it at WordCamp US of doing one, and it just kind of blossomed to really happening. Oh, great, great. So. Um, what process did you have to go through to first uh, figure out that you wanted to put a, uh, a WordCamp on and then to contact uh, WordCamp Central? Um, Kim White took care of a lot of that back end. She had a really good contact. Um, Kevin uh, Castellano, I believe it is, um, he does a lot with WordCamp New York and other areas. Um, he worked with us really closely with WordCamp Central. Oh, and right. making sure we got everything in line that we needed to get done. Okay, and your sponsors uh, worked out fine, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah. Yes, we actually got really lucky where we found, um, we put up our own sponsors. Um, we did a freelance ticket um, where, and I was one of those people that we paid $99 instead of the normal 20 So we got a little bit more recognition, um, a free ticket, and then other things. But we ended up with, I think it was like five or six sponsors. And our, our peak sponsor rate was $1,000. We only planned on two. We actually got one of them. Oh, okay. Um, a hosting company named Rochin. Um, I think they're in Sweden or England. Um, they have a an employee local to the Allentown area, so to the Lehigh Valley area. So he joined us. Fantastic. That's great. Yeah, it was great. It was and great. Now, how many uh, speakers did you have? We had twelve speakers. We limited ourselves to two tracks. Um, we had Joe Casabona do our keynote, mm -hmm. um, and then we had a users track and the designer developer track okay okay um did you have uh more uh, speaker submissions than you had spots to fill yes <laughs> <laughs> makes it tough to uh, pick and choose it, then. It, it made it tough um a couple of the speakers that did that we did deny did come in attendance um uh, anyway because they were they still they understand not everyone's gonna be able to get picked um we had several people submit two or three talks so we didn't want them speaking yeah. two or three times, so we only picked them for one. Absolutely, I understand that. And uh, how many uh, people attended your event? We limited it to 100 and some people just because it was our first camp. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to overburden ourselves too much. Um, we ended up selling 106 tickets, I believe it was, and I think we had 93 actually make it. Great, fantastic. Uh, and, and what kind of uh, venue did you uh, uh, have this at? We actually held our venue, we held it at um, a local community college, took over um, some of Bethlehem Steel's old offices in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And we we were on the sixth floor of their old office building. They had a nice large conference room and they gave us a, a green room for the meter, meeting or the speakers. And then we also had um, another smaller room for the designer and developer side. We got about 50 people into that classroom, I believe. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love it when uh, the local uh, uh, educational facility uh, organizations get uh, involved in a word camp. Yeah, it was a local community college that offered their facility. Fantastic. Yep. Uh, and, okay, I asked you how many attended. Uh, any glitches or anything uh, 
I know that everybody is nervous uh, as the yeah. <laughs> uh, event it gets closer, but it seems like uh, uh, once you have that uh, kickoff, uh, everybody just kind of lets loose and takes a, a, a deep breath, a sigh of relief. We, we did. Um, we were all nervous. We made for a long day, um, but really no glitches. Um, yeah. Two things two things occurred that – actually, three things that I think about it. We had some little audio issues in the main room where the microphone didn't really seem to work. It worked at the start, and then it just didn't do after that. didn't work all that well after that. Um, one was entirely my fault. During the process of recording a session, I kicked the camera over so we get to see it fall over. <laughs> I haven't seen that video part yet. I have to look at it. Um, then uh, the third one was right after lunch. The um, computer wouldn't connect to the TV hookup that was there for to show the presentations. But for the next presenter, it did. Next huh. speaker, it worked. I'll be darned. We don't know what it was. That it must have been Other Windows. I, no, actually, we ended up doing it on Windows because it wouldn't work on the Mac. Oh man! <laughs> so, but it, it it went really really well. Um, one of the things that impressed me and a lot of the people that have been to WordCamps before was when Joe actually asked a question, how many people are at their first, very first word camp? Over 80% of the hands went up. Fantastic. Oh, Joe man. was surprised, as we all were. There were a lot of people I'd seen from meetups and other word camps, but there were a lot of people I'd never seen before. Uh-huh. That's so, great. Yep, that, that's it was great. Fantastic. Yep. Uh, speaking of the, uh, the camera kits, uh, and believe me, I am sure that kicking over a camera is not the worst thing that ever happened. Um, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, uh, can you tell us a little bit, uh, uh, did you have a, a, a small group of volunteers uh, that set up the uh, camera kits and how did they work out for you? We, um, we had decided I would be in charge of the cameras to start with because of my full-time job, I work from home. So we knew when they got shipped, somebody would be here to accept it. Um, so I guy rang the doorbell and I brought it right in the house within 30 seconds of him dropping it off. But, uh, we had somebody who was supposed to be our, our wrangler and help take care of everything. Um, he had a situation where he couldn't make it on Saturday. So I had, when I'd gotten the cameras, the first thing I did was set it up. How does this work? Mm -hmm. I'd never worked with it before. So I was a little panicked, but luckily I got them on Tuesday. I think it was in the well, I didn't need them until Saturday, so I had four days to figure it out. Good. And I did not need that time at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. Oh, good, good. And uh, they seemed to function okay. The instructions were clear. The uh, QR codes uh, helped. Uh, that caught me off guard, not knowing the QR code. Being this was the first time I'd ever worked with, first of all, running a WordCamp. Then you throw in running videos for a WordCamp. Yeah. Um, what impressed me, I was reaching out to Mike from uh, – was it Rose Apple Media? I believe it is. Yes. Um, he, uh, I said, where, where do I get instructions for this? And right after I was waiting for his response, I noticed the QR code and went, oh, there it is. <laughs> and, it, and there was the answers I was looking for. Um, what I did like was how everything was packaged and labeled properly. Yes. And it was, here's everything that you need to go in this container. So when I was packing up Saturday, I just threw stuff in. I'll fix it when I get home. And that's what I did yesterday. Great, great. And uh, uh, I know that you're uh, in the process of uh, working on those videos and getting them yep. uploaded. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, helping process those. Uh, but uh, go ahead and take your time. We have plenty of work right now. <laughs> <laughs> they are, at least the videos right now, are on my home computer, which is backed up. I have multiple devices, so I have multiple yeah. copies. Um, <laughs> reformat the cards they're ready to wake out i'm just waiting to hear where it's going to go i believe it's going to go to oklahoma city next i just don't have the actual address to ship it to yet great great Wait. Uh, I, I think that's all the questions i have um uh, do you have anything that you would like to add uh at uh, you know, before we end the, the only thing i just want to say up to, to everyone else and this is just me um i uh this is my first time being involved in organizing a word camp um, it went well, and it really goes on to the team I had. Um, Kim White and Tim, we, we basically put things out that people were their, their experts at. We pulled in people from our meetup that could help us out as well. We put them where they could help. Great. Um, but get involved. I, I, it, I made a comment the other day during the WordCamp. One year ago was my very first WordCamp. Great. And oh, a year fantastic. later, a year later, I helped run one. Yeah. So it, it, it was, it, it's a challenge, but it's, it's fun. Yeah. 
You look forward to it being done, though. We all enjoyed the after party. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, absolutely. But definitely get involved in the community and help out because it, it's great people that can work together. That's for sure. People are willing to help out with you don't know. So I take it that uh, you say it was uh, well worth the effort. Yes, we, we actually had a, a post-mortem again this past Monday night just discussing, do we want to do this again next year? And we haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. But I, I think it's probably going to happen. Because of where we're located, you know, WordCamp US is happening again in Philadelphia. Philly, we knew we're, was not doing one this year. Scranton, who's an hour north of us, wasn't doing one this year because just the timing of things. They were like, they were burned out from Philadelphia. Yeah. Um, Joe Casabono just got married a month ago, so he was planning his wedding. Yeah. So other priorities. So we thought we'll slip in a small one. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> it great. It worked out great. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad it worked out, and uh, I certainly uh, do appreciate uh, you coming on and talking with me. Uh, I found out some things I did not know. Uh, so uh, if that's all, I'm going to go ahead and end this, and uh, we'll catch you on the uh, WordCamp trail. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Ken.